Welcome to our Electrical Engineering YouTube channel. In this video, we will see an example on Equivalent Resistance. To download our Electrical Engineering app, you can visit this website link electrical-engineering.app. This website is especially designed for electrical and electronics engineering students. Question: Find equivalent resistance between terminals A and B. Now here. For this network, we have to determine its equivalent resistance. Solution First of all, we will take this circuit. Now, here we can see this circuit looks very complicated, but if we assume the current distribution, so what will happen? Suppose if we supply a current between a voltage between these two terminals, then what will happen? the current will flow through this and it will get distributed between this resistance and this resistance then after that to this branch and to this branch similarly here also to this branch and this branch now here we can see this 5 ohm and 5 ohm they are same and here this 5 ohm and 3 ohm they are different so what will happen this current and this current will be same so the current through this 5 ohm and this 5 ohm will be same and the current through this 3 ohm and this 3 ohm will be same so what we can do we can separate these now here also uh, we have to apply the same property or rule and here also we can see here also it is 9 ohm and here also it is 9 ohm so the current through these two will be same and the current through this 15 ohm and this 15 ohm will be same so what we can do we can separate these two and these two so let's see how the circuit will look like then so here what we have to do we have to separate this 3 ohm and this 3 ohm and it will be like this similarly this 5 ohm and this 5 ohm will get separated it will become like this Now here also this 9 ohm and this 9 ohm will get separated. So it will look like this. Now here this 15 ohm and this 15 ohm will look like this. Now here we can see we can now easily solve this network. Now let's copy this again and paste it here so here we can clearly see this 3 ohm and this 3 ohm they are connected in series so their equivalent resistance will be simply 6 ohm so this will become 6 ohm sim simply so 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 ohm and here this 6 ohm parallel with 3 ohm so 6 ohm parallel with 3 ohm it will be 6 into 3 divided by 6 plus 3 so if we solve this in calculator it will be 6 into 3 divided by 6 plus 3 so it is simply 2 ohm so now this will become 2 ohm so let's take different color so this will be now 2 ohm now this 4 ohm 2 ohm and 4 ohm they are connected in series so before solving this what we will do we will solve this one so again 9 ohm and 9 ohm they are connected in series so it will be uh, it will be simply 18 ohm and this 18 ohm parallel with 9 ohm so 18 ohm parallel with 9 ohm it will be 18 into 9 divided by 18 plus 9 so 18 into 9 divided by 18 plus 9 so it is simply 6 ohm so this will become simply this whole become 6 ohm now here also this 12 ohm 6 ohm and 12 ohm they are connected in series so let's solve this so what we can do we can erase this
and here the resistance value become 2 ohm simply so this will become 2 ohm and similarly here we can replace this by Six ohm. So it will be six ohm. Now, now we can easily simplify this. So again, let's copy this network and paste it here. So now this five ohm and five ohm they are connected in series. So it will be simply five plus five, ten ohm. So it will be simply ten ohm. And here this 15 and 15, it will be 13, 30 ohm. So this will become 30 ohm. Now here we can see, again we will take one more step because we are solving this step by step. We are finding the equivalent resistance step by step. So here this 4 ohm, 2 ohm and 4 ohm, they are connected in series. So it will be 4 plus 4. 4 plus 2 plus 4 it will be 10 ohm simply so this will be 10 ohm now here also this it will be 12 ohm plus 6 ohm plus 12 ohm so this will be 30 30 ohm so we can replace this by 30 ohm it will be simply 30 ohm now again let's copy this network and paste it here so now this will be 10 ohm parallel with 10 ohm so 10 ohm parallel with 10 ohm it will be simply 10 into 10 divided by 10 plus 10 it will be simply 5 ohm so we can replace this by 5 ohm it will be simply 5 ohm now here also this 30 ohm parallel with 30 ohm parallel with 30 ohm so it will be 30 into 30 divided by 30 plus 30 so it will be simply 15 ohm so let's replace this by a single resistance of 15 ohm it will be simply 15 ohm now again we can copy this network from here and now here we can see this 2 ohm 5 ohm and 2 ohm they are connected in series so it will be simply 5 plus or we can write this 2 plus 5 plus 2 2 plus 5 plus 2 it will be simply 9 ohm and here it will be 6 plus 15 plus 6 so 6 plus 6 plus 15 plus 6 it will be 27 so 27 ohm again we can copy this network and we can replace these three resistances by a single resistance of 9 ohm simply so this will be 9 ohm and these two are connected together and similarly this will be 27 ohm it will be 27 ohm they are also connected together now here we can see this 9 ohm and 27 ohm they are connected in parallel so here we can write 9 ohm parallel with 27 ohm so it will be simply 9 into 27 divided by 9 plus 27 9 into 27 divided by 9 plus 27 it is simply 6.75 ohm so this is the value for rab so here we can write therefore rab is equal to 6.75 ohm so this is the final answer for this question and this is how we can solve this type of network. 
डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल एंड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग